Hey guys, today's video is a review about some things about these bushings. What things? All the things. And when am I going to tell you about these things? Right now. The hardcore barrels are the most unique bushings on the market. They come with this plastic insert bonded into the urethane and apparently this makes them perform in unique ways. Are they actually good? Do they perform better? Or is this just another ploy by skate companies to get more money from you? Find out this and more in the review. Let's kick it off. How do these feel in terms of stiffness? So if you were to take the Venom HPF barrels as the standard of stiffness, these feel about three duros softer. So for example, a 93A hardcore barrel feels more like a 90A Venom HPF barrel. And a 90A hardcore barrel feels more like an 87A Venom HPF barrel and so on and so forth. So if you're looking for similar stiffness to Venom HPF bushings, you're going to have to go much harder with your choice of hardcore barrel. The interesting thing is that they do have quite a bit of rebound, more than the HPF formula from Venom. In trucks that work bushings extra hard and makes them feel like they have a lot less rebound than they actually do, this is a great thing. I found they work really great in trucks like the Aero P2s, the Aero RF1s, Valkyrie Voxter, Savants, and Bear Gen 6 trucks. The extra rebound gives those trucks a more consistent and more supported feel in the lean and gives you better return to center. But on trucks that don't work these bushings really hard and in certain scenarios, these bushings can be a miss, but more on that later. That aside, these have been extremely fun for cruising. They add a really playful feel to the ride and allow you to sort of bounce in and out of turn, getting edge to edge really quickly in a smooth and supported way. They are really, really fun. But yeah, that extra rebound can be a bad thing. They can cause the bushing to give more feedback and fight your input when you engage them. This is mostly a problem when you're skating really fast and going over road imperfections too. The bushings can cause the truck to provide a bit too much feedback and this could lead you to thinking or feeling that your truck is a little bit unstable. And and yeah, you could suddenly switch up your riding style and get used to this, but sometimes a product just isn't right for you. I know some really good skaters who simply don't get on with the hardcore barrels. But that said, if you do use them in the trucks that I did mention and if you use them for cruising and dancing, you are absolutely gonna love these bushings. Let's finally talk about how the inside perfects the bushings performance. In comparison to other insideless bushings, I felt that the inside reduces slop and keeps the hanger in the right place. It feels like it provides a direct feel to the lean and turn and this has allowed me to be more confident and aggressive with my inputs. I'm very confident that the truck is going to match my inputs directly so yeah I feel comfortable being more aggressive. And I don't have to feather my movements and worry that the truck might sort of do its own thing. And this direct feel to me is a good sign of no slop, or rather in this case a reduction of slop, but it isn't an accurate way of measuring slop. But you know, most precision trucks have a direct feel, so kind of works, you know. The insert also binds the hanger towards the edge of lean, and I felt that this has led to a consistent initiation into slides. With other bushings, I felt as though the hanger could lean deeper and further, but it also felt more inconsistent and sloppy at that edge of lean. And both of these things were most noticeable on trucks without a slop stopping system. For example, the Paris V3 trucks. The way these things bind the hanger towards the edge of lean feel the way a cupped washer holds a bushing at that edge of lean. But like that cupped washer has a little bit more lean available. I really hope that makes sense and translates. And the things I really didn't like about hardcore barrels is that they don't have a lot of durometer options. They recently added the 95 and 97A, but I'd love to see softer options as well. I'd love to see different bushing shapes. With that, you can really be creative with how you can run your trucks using hardcore barrels. So some tips for you guys, these bushings work best when they're preloaded. So once you've tightened your kingpin, don't be afraid to over tighten it by about half a ton or even a full ton. It may give you slightly better performance. The other thing that you shouldn't do but that I do and sort of recommend that you do is sanding down the tips of the bushing. When you these bushings come with spiky-ish bits that face the hanger and when I've sanded them down I felt better performance. I felt as though the bushing was able to sit more flush against the bushing seat and yeah so I highly recommend you do do that. And let me know how you guys run your hardcore barrels. Please comment your setup. Let me know the deck, the trucks, base plate angle, wheelbase, everything, wash your setup. I want to see it all. Comment and I'll also leave what I've been using my hardcore barrels for. Different trucks whether for downhill cruising all that stuff and we can compare and exchange notes and see what happens. As always, there's an accompanying write-up that you can check out, link in the description, more in-depth, more thorough. For you brainiacs out there that like to read, go check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Big thanks to subscribers, patrons, big thanks to everyone. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, you know the drill. Big thanks to Kevin for sending me these out to review. Sorry it took too long to review them, I just didn't have the right trucks to review them. Thank you guys, and next week hopefully we have the Paris V3 review, followed by the Calibre 3 and then Bear Gen 6. Some products may, you know, sneak in there, but we'll see how it goes. 
and yeah catch you guys in the next video